So what we're seeing at the moment is there's a chance of an interest rate cut in December. It's seeming like it's gonna be a lot more likely after the minutes of the November Reserve Bank meeting have been released. The rate cut will be off the back of continued weakness in wages growth and inflation. There's lots of chat in the media about Sydney and Melbourne and that they're in recovery. What are we seeing in Brisbane? So we're seeing a little bit more momentum. However, the recovery I think will be taking a little while for it to flow through. What we're seeing locally at the moment in the markets that we're seeing is, is that, you know, obviously there's markets going well down south, but it's not really happening up here just yet. What we are seeing is there's still a strong amount of buyers in the market, still a good amount of people come through open days and we're still doing deals. We're still struggling for stock onto the market at the moment though. That's what we're seeing at a Brisbane level. For investors, our rental market's fairly healthy. So at the moment, compared to other capital cities like Sydney, we're seeing vacancies fall from where they were say 18 months ago and the popular suburbs with good amenities are having steady, stable rents, not decreasing. And we are seeing some uplift in some suburbs in terms of increase in rentals. However, we may start to see a reduction in demand for properties appealing to younger couples and singles because some of the renters that we're starting to see that are in properties now are gonna turn into first home buyers in the new year and take advantage of some of those new government incentives. So we might be a bit of robbing Peter to pay Paul uh, next year, we'll see what happens in the rental space, but certainly that's where it's at at the moment. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon.